So 2nd of February is National Girls and Women's Sports Day. You are founder of the business Tip and Flip, which looks to help champion gender parity in sport. So for those who might be unaware of what the business does, could you just explain who you are and what you do? Yeah, so when I went into cricket, I started my own business, Tip and Flip, which is all around tipping and flipping perceptions of women's sport. So the main objective is for women's sport to reach its potential and so that young girls can confidently follow their dreams without compromise. And I think that without compromise is the most important part, that I want young girls to be able to aspire to be young cricket, well, professional cricketers, professional footballers, and them to have full-time roles and play their, the sport that they love. How important do you think it is of young girls being involved in sports in general but also like retaining that interest throughout because often you see girls maybe drop out of participating in sport maybe in high school or in their kind of later teen years how important is that to kind of keep them in the sport and keep them inspired I think it's so important I think sport gives you so much back as an individual it can teach you your life lessons your values resilience strength and all these qualities you need throughout your life. So it's so important that everyone has the opportunity to play sports and it's equal for both male and female. And I think the more opportunities out there, the more people will grasp them with two hands. So yeah, I definitely think more opportunities and trying to keep females in the game for longer would be absolutely brilliant. What would you say the best thing that you've taken from cricket on kind of the non-playing side from just being in that sporting environment? I just love the social side of the game. I think I've met some of the most incredible people, have friendships across the world and that's what's so incredible about sport is you get to know people on a real personal level as well as just playing the game that you love. So socially it brings so much, so many benefits to you as an individual. And so finally, just what do you think kind of women's cricket has in store in 2022 and how can it build on what it's done in the past couple of years? I think there's so much to come for women's cricket. I think the Ashes, there's three one days left and I think that will dictate how the next few months go for women's cricket. But there's the Commonwealth Games, the 100. It's going to be an exciting year for women's cricket. And I just hope this is that tipping point in women's cricket where perceptions are flipped, boardrooms are flipped so that we actually start to see full squads fully contracted in the women's game because I think that will be what makes the difference to step change the game and really so that we can become the best country in the world at cricket.